Marvel Stars Beer Reviews. Special guest, Iced Almighty. I shouldn't say uh, guest anymore, considering you've started like half my reviews. It's still guest starring. I'm not in everyone. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're going to take a look at a beer that was brought back to me from Ottawa, Ontario, by my friend, The Fuzz. Excuse me. Creamore Springs uh, winner selection. Their Urbach. Dark beer. All natural, 6% ABV. Uh, it says, Bach beers gained notoriety in Munich back in 16, uh, 1612. All the Bavarian nobles were drinking fashionable northern ales known as Einbecker beer. So, Duke Maximilian I, oh, Maximilian, I can get that more, yeah. uh, of Munich hired his own northern brewmaster who created the lager similar in character. It won back the local market. Inspired by his entrepreneurial spirit, which started, we started brewing our own Bierbach. Rich, ruby-hued beer with the subtle, dark, roasted flavors. It's an aristocratic beer, but you don't need to be a duke to enjoy it. Don't need to drop a deuce to enjoy it. Alright. If everyone gets to pick their own nickname, they'd all be the duke. <laughs> the duke. Yeah, that's good. Cool. That's nice and dark. Yeah, that's a... Oh, yeah, we're kidding about the ruby. Dark. Oh. Hey, we're not getting... Extra head here. Not really a whole lot of head to it. No, but not too much. Well, I'm getting a bit of finger there, but I poured it a little aggressively there at the end. Now I've had a lot. Have a, had others from Cream Wars. This is actually okay. Let me rephrase that. This is the second beer from Great Cream War I've had. We uh, we both shared the last can of um, uh, the, the Keller Hell. beer that was sent to us from Albino Rhino. Um, I've got two more of these in the fridge. Uh, this one we. Uh, Got another one the Fuzz brought back, which was the Pilsner, and I got a, a the Lager, which was sent to me by Brew by me. Uh, backstory aside, um, I like dark beers. This is a dark lager from uh, the company in Cremar, Ontario, and I am really looking forward to trying this because the color beer was delicious. Yeah, this is nice. This is looking nice. Nice, nice sticky head. Nice ruby copper color. It's, it's not sticking to the sides as much as I, was, I would hope. But it's a little, it's, it's a little oily sticky. on the sides. Yeah. I do cloudy. see like a little slicky on the sides here. A little oily, not too bad. Composition of the glass also counts for something too, so who knows, maybe it's not sticking to the sides as much as it could be, but I'm not really complaining as long as the beer tastes the same, which I'm pretty sure it will. All right. Well, oh, color-wise, it's like a like an amber brown. Yeah. A little hazy. A little hazy. Probably not filtered all the hell. No. I didn't imagine that's something to do with Cream Wars pro pro uh, production process because they don't overproduce their beers. So, anyway, let's give it a sniff. Yep, smells like a dark lager. Smells like a dark lager. It's got a very faint aromas of, of uh, dark fruits like prune and raisin. A little bit. Maybe some toffee malt. Uh huh. Caramel. Maybe a hint of cocoa. Hmm. But it's, the smells aren't exactly strong. No, it's a very subtle smell. Mm. It's not overpowering. Mild, but satisfying. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, I wouldn't expect like a huge strong aromas from uh, a lager other than maybe the sandwich louse. Yeah. <laughs> that was I expect end. strong everything from the sandwich louse. <laughs> <laughs> 14%, come on. All right, so let's, All right. Uh, let's dive into this. Mm -hmm. One thing I have to say about all of the cream, okay, every cream more that I've had so far, damn, that's smooth. Yeah, this is really drinkable. I could down this in probably Holy a couple of Is that ever soft? Yeah, it's probably the natural spring water, eh? It's got some nice flavors. Yeah, it's got those, that dark fruit flavors. Into cocoa and toasted grain in the back. It's not too strong though, but it's not bad. Mm. Hardly any flavors touch the tip of the tongue, but you get this little bit of like fruity flavors and a slightly earthy bitterness that, and herbal bitterness that uh, gets you in the back of the throat. Yeah. The sweetness and the flavors really tend to stick out in the middle of the center of the tongue. Yeah, the middle of my tongue is, is kind of earthy bitterness and a um, little bit of toasted grain. Oh. But that's just like, compared drinking a beer to sitting, sleeping on a soft pillow, that's how soft the cream more springs is. This, this is this is great. This is just this is almost a lullaby in a bottle. Mm. Well, can is the case maybe. That's an enjoyable beer. Man, I wish we had this stuff here. Nova Scotia's starting to carry it. Get yeah. closer. Get Come closer. on, New Brunswick. What the heck's your problem? 
get on board and be it, like her. How come they? How come they? Uh, NSLC stores carry all the awesome stuff now. I think NSLC must have some sort of deal with Ontario because they had like Mad Tom this summer and they had, yeah, well, the ones in Halifax too. They, they also had, had a lot more Mill Street stuff. In o- Okanagan Springs, which is from like BC, they had what was the other ones that they got down there from Ontario? KLB Raspberry Wheat in Amsterdam's. Yeah, and they got a couple more BC ones this winter too. The the Lion Winter one there once it's there. And they, they started carrying another one from the company too, the English Bay. Because I don't I don't think this is down in Nova Scotia yet. No, Pilsner the, is. The Pilsner and is. And the lager. And the lager. Mm. Wow. Which we haven't tried yet, oh, so maybe that's there. delicious. What? That's a delicious uh, dark lager, though. That's like. Maybe the. It's not as fruity or as sweet as, as I, was, I would hope from a, a beer like this, but I don't even care. Because I mean, that's just so soft. I mean. Unless price point is an issue, I can't imagine why anyone would drink a mackerel lager over this. I just can't imagine. Because it's not offensive or aggressive in any way. Like, a no. really casual drinker should be able to enjoy the hell of this. Yeah, a, a casual drinker should be able to pick this up and enjoy it. If you're just a person that likes to drink like a, a Molson Canadian or a Labatt Blue, I mean, go out and give something from Cream More Strings, uh, strings. Three more springs to try because... This is only our second beer and you're already slurring. <laughs> Okay, um, but seriously, if you're a, just a casual drinker, you should really give this a try because you might enjoy this too. You should, you should. If get you a like pick- the, t- the taste and the mouthfeel of certain beers, oh. I'm guaranteeing you, you really enjoy this. Oh. You need to get a picture of this before we finish. Yeah, before I finish it, because I'm gonna finish it pretty quick. All right, just a sec. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. And we're back with Greenmore Springs Dark Beer Urbach. So, what did we think about this one? I fucking love it. I fucking love it. This is delicious. I love Greenmore Springs. I love dark lager. This is the fucking shit. It is the fucking shit. I mean, maybe it's not the high, most aesthetically pleasing that, that like lager or dark lager out there, but it's just so damn smooth, though so damn soft that you don't really give a shit. It's this is delicious. I love it. Congratulations, Creamore Springs. I'm sure you value oh. our opinion highly. <laughs> yeah, because you're totally watching this video. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wish I had another one. That gets an easy 4.5 for me. I'm going to give it four and a quarter. Four and a quarter? Four and a quarter. Whatever, man. It's up to you. But when it comes to dark beers, it may not be the best dark beer out there, but that's certainly that can both a contender and a damn smooth, easy drinking beer. And I hope I didn't drink that one too fast. <laughs> and it will be fine. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, compared to some other dark sure. lagers, this is this is clearly outstanding. Mm. Like I had the uh, the RJ Cannon yesterday, and oh, yeah? this blows it out of the water. Mm. Blows the cannon out of the water. Yeah, I haven't had the game blows the cannon out of the water. It certainly does. Usually a cannon would do that, but uh, a cannon's a doppel block from Brasserie to RJ. But this is I like this better than that Sam Adams that uh, Schwarz beer we had. Hmm. What was it? We had something else too, didn't we? we had a block or something from someone else. Yeah, we've had all sorts of things. Yeah. Anyway, though, I, I really enjoyed that. That was really good. And thank you very much, Creamore. And thank you very much, Fuzz. Thank you very much, Fuzz, for bringing that back for us to try. Anyway, thank you guys for watching Maxwell Star's Beer Reviews. We really enjoyed this beer, and I really recommend it, and hope you do, too. Cheers. <laughs>